The streets in Minden look quite different on Tuesday after the town was hit hard with heavy rain flooding many streets and homes on Monday. And it's not just the flooding that has residents worried, but what could be spreading into that flood water. When it comes up over the manholes, it's just a direct shot over to my place and just pumps all over in my yard and, and gets splashed on my porch, my house, in my yard. And that's just how I'm getting it, but everybody else is getting it down, down through there through flood waters and everything else. I mean, it's all links together. That water comes from a mine that is now abandoned, but at one point it was an area that Schaefer Equipment Company used as a PCB dump. Right behind me is the old coal mine site, and if you look closely, you can see the water channeling through here that could possibly have PCB in it. And now residents in Minden are worried that they are at even a higher health risk. This house over here across the road, a native uh, house, we found PCBs there, and she's constantly getting flooded by the water from the mines, the water from Oak Hill, Pea Ridge, it all comes down on her. And she had water up in her house yesterday, and it still has not gone all the way down. Many of these residents believe EPA has not done its job, and even an Oak Hill doctor has been asking EPA to take action for decades now. The thing is, it is confirmed. International Association for Cancer accept PCB as a carcinogen. So that's not a question anymore. They could have questioned my finding 25 years ago, but there's no reason. And nothing has been done for these people, really. Starting June 11th, EPA will finally be testing all throughout Minden. In Minden, I'm Ashley Kafaro reporting for Newswatch.